Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to the final part of the final mission in the Caesar 3 campaign. We are here on the monotheistic heretic city and we have conquered the gods, all except for Venus. So in this part, we are going to be going up to luxury palaces and trying to hit all of our goals while trying to also make sure our city doesn't fall to the gods. So let's go ahead and get things started. Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. Look at this, we've got Grand Insules and so much more. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and get these up to six there, which I think we can support. And, uh, hmm, the gods, the gods. I think we're pretty safe. Um, last time, they started, invasion started to break through here. So I think I am actually just gonna put an extra layer of wall right there and it should be fine. Um, and basically we are immune to all invasions. Uh, also on this, this warehouse here is starting to look a little, starting to look a little full. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna, I think I can get rid of that completely and put down a warehouse right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. I think set this to getting furniture and not accepting anything else. So let's do this. And make sure that glitch isn't happening, that everything is still accepting and stuff. This can stop getting furniture, I suppose. Make sure all of this is still going. So we found the bug. If I change the setting here on fruit, it changes it on the granary, weirdly enough. Uh, this should be not accepting. Actually, it should be fine, it should be fine. Timber's gonna go into here. Oh, but these aren't... This is not supposed to accept furniture. You see, something is, is messing things up here. Set that and that. Okay, and then if I check this... Okay, that's fine. If I check this... Okay, that's fine. Alright. So now, we've got a few things. We need to evolve these houses here. And I need to bring in enough people, but to make sure our prosperity stays up at 50 which will be going up but we have way too many tents so i need to increase how much food we have right here so i guess it's more farms let's go fruit farms boost those up uh i could probably cut back on pottery a little bit here so let's cut back there i'll just move the workshop uh over this side yep that should be fine uh, so that I could shift these farms around. I could put down another fruit farm right here. This should start stabilizing the food supply. And I could also... Can I fit... Do I need this... Oh, I don't need this reservoir, do I? If I just put a reservoir like... Here. And have this aqueduct go around like that. Will that reach? If I can get rid of this... Reservoir. I can fit farms around that side. Just concerned about the bathhouse, but I can move that if anything. Okay. So that I can have another road coming out here. Uh, so I do need to move the bathhouse, which I will just put right there. Get rid of that. Have another engineer's post there. And a single house there for stability. And I could also put... Uh, that road there is going to mess things up a little bit. But I can fit one more farm there. I'll shift these farms over. So I can fit four farms like that. So that's a lot more farms. That's a lot more farms. Now those two houses have moved in. And what do these need to evolve? So they need access to more types of gods. So, as the heretic city, we haven't built any temples to any other god. But I think at 3,600 population, adding one temple will not wreck things. Oh, can gods walk on that piece of wall? I'm not too sure. I gotta be careful about that. that that's a good point. I built walls here, but I don't want the sentries walking out. Because that could be a problem. Perhaps I just try to make sure... 
nothing gets destroyed here. Move this engineer's post. And in case they do break through, let's just make sure... 30 furniture. A third layer of towers? I might need that. 23 in warehouse, okay. Anger of Mars, Anger of Mars. Alright, so... We've got constant invasions because of Mars curses. Okay, so it's pretty big. Where are they? Here? Okay. So I'm just gonna wall up... Oh, too close to enemy troops, okay. So I just wanna wall this up. Okay, fine, fine. Um... How is our employment? 8% unemployment, okay. So I am gonna be expanding the road down this way. Put an engineer's post there. Because this is going to be where the Hippodrome goes. So let's just prep for that. Uh, not the Hippodrome. I'm gonna put down the Chariot Maker, which is going right there. Are they gone? I think they're gone. Let's... Just wall up here, so if they do bust through, it at least hits another layer. That should buy enough time to kill them. Okay. Okay, okay. I could also try reach the prosperity with a lot of Grand Insulae. It would fit the challenge more. Probably, but... Here's an actual invasion. Series Rex crops. Okay, okay. Um, I kind of want to get Luxury Palaces anyway, because it's been kind of an extra challenge to always get max level housing. So, that that's kind of why I want that. Okay, so food should be fine. Because we had extra farms going, so that should be okay. Let's see... Good thing I built those walls there. So... Oh. These invasions are getting pretty big. So I'm wondering if we can still keep holding them off. Okay, okay. Celtic invasion and locust invasion, yeah. Okay, okay, here comes the chariots. Oh, a big volley was completely missed there. The chariots are kind of the scariest thing. Okay, okay, that was a good volley. Killed a lot of people there. And they're attacking the towers already, and a few more spawn. Jeez. Okay, okay. Come on. There should be a bunch dead right there. Shoot them. Are they dead? Oh, they're dead. Okay, so that was a little scary. To be safe, we might need another row of towers. I can put a tower there. That might help. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. That was a little close. That was a little close. Okay, but we've got six Grand Insulas here, so that's good. Uh, food supplies seem okay. And I want a working Hippodrome. Which will go right here, I think. So, yeah, let's not cut down any trees we don't need to. Another three. One, two, three. Hippodrome can go right there. Can I support that? 8% unemployment? Should be okay, right? Let's get a working Hippodrome. And... That does cost so much money, jeez. Gotta be careful about that. Okay. But that's gonna... Start hitting our employment. How's our... People are extremely pleased with me, so I guess I could raise taxes a little bit. We are paying 8 above Rome. We are taxing this area, right? And this area? Yeah. So basically, I need to build more houses in this block and get rid of these tents, because we have so many tents. Oh, there's some ruins right here. Was that employees needed? Yeah. Employees needed. Five? Okay. Just about perfect. 
Okay, so we've got a working hippodrome and a working chariot maker. Farms are back online, which means I can go ahead and bring in another... Do I want to evolve these houses? Probably not. Oil is kind of difficult. So I'm just going to bring in another big row of houses here. Um, yeah, that should be fine. They will need some... Some money did come in, so let's just... Get a couple of these down. Make sure the houses evolve. They'll need some fountains as well. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I should put the fountains first, right? One, two, three, four. There. That should cover all of those houses. Okay, so that should bring in a bunch more people once those houses evolve. Food is the only sort of concern here. Uh, but with the extra farms, it should be okay. 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 Um, yeah, and I think we got to start relying on some tax income, so there's less concern uh, about actually exporting goods. Why do we have so much meat? Do these... Oh, they're not eating any meat. Because they don't need a third type of food right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should give them oil. It, the problem is we import oil from the sea. Um, and that's a little bit tricky to manage because of the Neptune curses. Are people moving in? Oh, they are, they are. There they are. Oh, that's not... That can't function, I see. Because it's not connected by a road. Oh well, that's fine. Um, alright. Working Hippodrome, though. No current races. Where's the... No, no, there we go, there we go. We've got Hippodrome access coming on down. Mercury wrecking my stuff again. Don't worry. One by one, medium insulate. Consume too much? Okay, I gotta be careful of that. Which one did you burn down? That? Oh, the granary! Because the granary was so... Okay, wait. Let's see if I can save some of this furniture. Because that's going to burn down. Um, we're just going to need another granary, I guess. Yeah, just accept everything, that's fine. Because that's going to burn down. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the granary to burn down. Yeah, I should have shifted that. We got the furniture out, though, so let's just get rid of that. Okay. There is also a request for furniture, but we're not producing enough. Perhaps another furniture workshop to help speed things along. Okay, so we save the furniture. Should be fine. Oh, the first feeding is wrecking things a little bit though. Oh, there's no road connection. Uh, <laughs> we need to move things around a little bit. No employees live nearby. How do I stabilize this? Okay. The granary was working for a little while, but then it wasn't. Come on, come on, we've got lots of fruits here. Okay, off you go. Let's keep the fruits going. Money is sort of okay. Why does it say no current races? We have unemployment though, so that's good. Okay, fruit stockpiling up. That's good. We'll wait for the fires to go out here. Can I build a couple of iron mines and just keep two warehouses filled at all times? 
I was kind of using the timber for that, actually. Still 26 furniture? Okay, well, that's gone now, so let us go granary. We can break the roads again. Okay. So we can have two granaries at least. So that should... Yeah, food's coming in. Feeding... The first feeding is going to be a little rough, but it should be fine. That's large statue around the back. Okay. Garden up the gaps. Okay. Almost fed the whole block. I can't mess with that. Um... I guess I could put the warehouse for furniture... Oh, I can't put it there, can I? Because this is all touching something. If the warehouse touches something, it's a bit of a risk. I could put it there? No, 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 that's even more dangerous. Oh, well, I guess it's fine. We just wait for... Or just try to make sure the pottery supply doesn't get too high. No basic educational facilities. The school doesn't reach. I guess we could spam another school down here. Yeah? Move the forum to there. Move the school to here. Oh, we have enough furniture? Okay. Mar is attacking us. Don't worry about that. We have the furniture. 35. Let's dispatch that. Oh, it didn't take from here. Fantastic. It took from there, though. So we need more furniture going, yes. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, that's, that's not gonna be a problem. Okay, so with food supplies stabilizing, more people coming in. Uh, how, what's the population target on this mission? 6,000? Okay. 6,000 people. So let me evolve these houses. So I need to build two... Ran out of oil. Do the market ladies not walk up there properly? That would be a little annoying. To be safe, I will put down another market there. Okay, got a supply of oil. I'm gonna put down another market. Okay. Uh, food supply is fine, okay? So I don't have to worry about that. So I need to build two temples. Now, just so it's as fair as possible, which one of these affects us the least? Mars affects us the least. So I can, you know, I'm pretty sure building a single temple is not gonna affect anything, but there's there's a Mars temple. Because we're immune to Mars's curses at this point. So I need to build one more. I'll let you guys decide. Do you guys want me to build a single temple to Neptune or a single temple to Mer Mercury, uh, Ceres, Mercury, Neptune? I gotta build one more temple. I'm pretty sure it does not affect uh, curses all that much. <clears throat> Pretty much Neptune. There's that dispatch, okay. A little bit of furniture just come in, okay. Food supplies looking okay. So all these houses, plenty of room for people. Okay, so we gotta get up to... Prosperity is rising. I wonder if we can... Ah, there we go, villas coming in. They need another temple to evolve. So most people said Neptune. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a Neptune temple right there. Oh, does the Mars temple not reach? Oh, the Mars Temple doesn't reach. Okay, so I have to move the Mars Temple down here, I guess. Should be okay if it's there. 
right? Okay. <laughs> so this should start evolving things. So we've got villas. Another... Okay. Employees needed. Alright, because these houses no longer work. They need a third type of food. Okay, markets do have three types of food. Oh, that's the, the far market. Okay. These markets should be stocked with everything they need. Where's the market ladies? There's one. Okay, needs a second type of wine. So we gotta start importing wine again. Well, Neptune just cursed us, so it's not gonna be a money problem. <laughs> importing. Bam. What a silly mechanic. Right? Evolving, evolving, evolving. And is this? Luxury palaces, yes. Is that still only two religions? Does Mars... Is the walking distance on all of these, like, just not good? Oh, come on. It's like a tile. Which one? Here. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is why I have these going. I want the timber warehouses to burn. Okay. So I gotta do a little arrangement here. What are these? Doctor, barbershop. Okay. Put doctor. Actually, no. I can just shift these around. I put the temple to Mars here. Doctor. Barbara. Okay. That should work. That should get us six luxury palaces. The meat supply has stocked up. This market on the far side is just gonna intermittently grab things. There's a Mars curse, no problem. Yep. They just die immediately, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, food supply here seems to be struggling, but I'm not too sure if it is. Uh, a little bit, but we're still going through that first feeding. Evolving them with oil would be good, but I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Right? I can remove a medium statue and... Oh, right. I could just put them there. But yeah, this should be fine. There we go. Six luxury palaces. That should improve our tax income. Um, people love me, so I can tax people more. Okay. Uh, we have unemployment. So as unemployment grows, we can start getting rid of... Let's get rid of these one by one tents here, because those are the biggest hit on things. Right? More people are moving in, but I think those might be for the luxury palaces. 1% unemployment. So that. Um, yeah, and then I think we're now producing enough furniture. I'll, I'll let it run a bit more. Get a few more one by one tents. Okay. Ran out of furniture, really. We're struggling to provide enough. Food actually looks okay. Furniture is low. Let's do that. Yeah, we need more furniture, actually. Food should be okay. Furniture is low. Right, right. How's our prosperity? It is rising. Six luxury palaces gets you pretty far. Yeah, I just need furniture. I suppose I could produce furniture, right? 
It wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, the closest trees... Do I want to do one here? I could put a bit of a furniture industry. But I should have it separate, right? Let's just do that. Raw material, Timbia. Oh. Since food is looking low, I will bypass Ceres' curse by doing this. Farm fruits. Clay is going into here. Uh, not accepting. Okay. We do actually have too many clay pits. Okay. So rebuilding the farms fixes that. Uh, let us put down engineer's post here. That should reach. And we can have. to stabilize, and raw materials, Timbia. So producing some furniture nearby should fix, fix the problem. Okay, uh, warehouse. Right there. Workshop furniture. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That should solve that problem. Okay. Use the houses from the city walls for workers and go for furniture near the mountains. Yeah. So I think, uh, I will do that. I'm gonna need an engineer's post here and another gatehouse right here. Come on, get out of the way. That will solve that problem. City needs workers. No, no, it's no employment problems. Okay. Did I never get the cinematic for the Hippodrome? Oh well. How is our prosperity? It is still rising. Okay. Uh, I don't think... Building those extra temples wrecked things too much. Neptune and Mars still wrathful. Okay, good, good, good. All right, these farms. I think we're still okay. There's no vegetables there. Hmm. That might be a problem. Uh, I need more farms down this side. What can I move. I think I need all these farms. Maybe I don't need all these farms. Let's move this actor colony. I could just do this. Gladiator school to there. Clear these so that I could have another fruit farm and another vegetable farm. I can move the pottery workshop over to this side, clear that, have a third pig farm. And that should start stabilizing the resources. We still have food. It's just a series curse, put it back a bit. There's vegetables coming in from there as well, okay. Oh. Save the game. Oh, which one? The vegetables. Okay. Uh, let's save the game. Right there. Okay. Okay. Taxes are probably helping out quite a bit. 
Uh, do people still- people love me? Okay, raise taxes. 7,000 a year from taxes. Luxury Palace is helping a lot. Prosperity rating is still rising. It only changes every year, I think. I think I need to set this to not accepting for a while to dump all the food. Oh, it's all linked. All the fruit commands have been linked across the map. Why is wine there? Oh, we just imported like a ton of wine. That's that's a problem, right? Uh, we need to make sure that's not accepting. So we don't import wine and oil to all of these other places. Okay. Okay. So that's why our money is down. <clears throat> 4,500 people. We'll find out if we're doing okay if... Uh, once we see how our prosperity goes, right? Food supply is looking okay. Series wrecking crops, okay. So I do need to rebuild these. Farm vegetables. One, two, three. Farm fruit. One, two, three. Farm pigs. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, what is this? No oil. Oh, we haven't gotten any oil. Are the market's okay on oil? Yeah. That far market is actually going to help a lot, eventually. Food is doing okay. See, this is why I can't provide oil to this place. We do actually run out of oil <laughs> quite easily. So our money is low because we imported a ton of wine. And no oil can come in until these storms stop. We've imported none this year, and it's September. Uh, oil comes from the same place as wine. That's probably the problem. just have a separated warehouse here for uh, none of this, none of this, none of that, none of that, okay, none of that. Accepting just oil, okay, and set this to not accepting oil or olives, okay. So that's just for wine, that's just for oil. When the boats come by, we need to try and make sure we get... ...the oil in. Okay, okay. Import olives? Uh, it's not so much that... Oh, import olives. Um, it's from the same place, so... <laughs> there is no way to import. Hmm. I just need to import oil. Good thing we have a stock. Enemies at the door, okay. Alright, there's still a stock of food there. We're now producing furniture here to bring it over to this side. This can stop getting furniture. This can make sure... yeah, okay, that's fine. Set that to just accepting. Okay, okay. Do that, okay. All right, so, uh, can we actually hit our goals like this? I'm, I'm really not too sure. It's all dependent on this prosperity. 
So I think I just have to speed through it, I think. Let me get these farms back online. Oh, I just... It just came back online anyway. It's okay. I think this is producing enough food to be immune to the series effect. Uh, this should be functioning fine. Why is... No, don't accept that. There's something weird going on with the warehouses in this mission. Yeah, see, the, there's like... They keep shifting vegetables around. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Employees needed. Nothing serious. Okay. I think I just wait and see how high... <clears throat> see how high our prosperity goes, right? The higher the prosperity, the higher the population. I mean, we need 6,000 people. Have these moved in? All of these have moved in. Uh, not completely, but for the most part. There's a... Why that one? Why is there meat in here? So something's weird. Wait, is this no longer accepting meat? No, there's meat there. Meat is being shifted around? Okay, well, here can accept clay and pottery, I guess. Okay, pottery supply seems to be maintaining. Our card is returning from delivery. Not sure if he's getting from the right spot. He should be getting from here, right? Yeah. I think. Where is he? Okay, that should be him. That should be him. Evolve the houses in one more block near the entry point to get 6,000 people quickly. Uh, this block. A little tricky getting the food. Food supply there is doing okay. I think I get rid of that granary to centralize all of this. Furniture's down, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just need a place for pottery and clay so that we can actually keep exporting it. See, somehow meat ends up... See, why are they delivering meat to here? There's, there's something really glitchy about how, how I've built this city and the gods and all of that. It's, it's very strange. It's very strange. Like, things just aren't running as they should. Something about god curses has messed up... Um, has messed up the warehouse settings. I think that should be good. Let's not mess with things too much. I really need oil to come in though. Okay, we still have a supply. Luckily maintaining oil for six houses, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much, so we should be okay actually. Okay, money is going back up. It is a new year. Prosperity is 26, it's rising. Okay. I think we might be able to hit our prosperity target with just this. Right? So if I just save the game right here and speed through to make sure nothing collapses. Okay, that should be fine. The markets have some food in there. Okay, so it's, it's starting to run a bit low on pottery here. So I actually want to... Uh, Let's do that to make sure things are stable. Move that. Uh, put workshop pottery. Can I block this off? Yeah, it should be fine. Mars. Okay, we can ignore that. So we just need a bit more pottery coming in here. Can these hit the people? Oh no, there's a tent there. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so I just have to keep checking that. People are very pleased with me. 10,000 denarii a year from taxes alone. So our money should start going up quite high. 
Oh. Um. Are we buying any oil? Dockers are collecting some good. Dockers are collecting some good. I can't wait. I can't wait to do some. Oh, come on. I think the next time the boats come by, I have to turn off importing of oil, or I just wait for... ...oil to... Hmm... Can I move? I have to wait for wine to fill up. If I set this to temporarily not accepting... And I set this to... Emptying the warehouse. It should shift the oil, the wine over there. If we can fill this with wine. Or just other things. No, no, I, I have to fill it with, with wine. So shift this wine over there. Then the next time the boats come, they'll have to sell us oil. That should work. I can cut back on furniture production, too. We can cut back quite a bit, actually, since we're now producing furniture over here. So we just need to produce enough down here to sell, right? Yeah, five is enough to sell for each year. Okay, there goes the wine. Okay. I can try set this... No, I actually kind of want to leave the oil there. Yeah, let the wine arrive over. Okay. Wrecking farms. Uh, food supply. Okay, I probably do need to rebuild the farms. Farm. Fruit. An actual invasion. Local uprising and an invasion at the same time. Oh, that's not good. The invasion is from there? Oh. Oh, I see. Things might go a little south here. Because the sentries have aggroed them. They're gonna start charging at us. I didn't know invasions could come from there. Okay, okay. I should have just built towers there even though they wouldn't be functional. Stop shooting! Stop shooting! Which one? Oh, right, because Mercury would wreck the wine supply, wouldn't he? Of course he would. Of course he would. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, mood is bad? Is it because... I don't know. Should be fine. Let's just run in there. Oh, those guys can shoot there as well. Okay, okay. Did we do it? I can't see what's going on, but I think we did it. We did it. Actually, it was fine. It was fine. And I just realized I don't need to do some weird stuff here. Or from where? Of course. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's <laughs> uh, there. No more sentries. Uh, 
we definitely need another fruit farm and vegetable farm right there was just a series curse as well so that's why that's a little low okay do this please thank you okay tower Ben. okay I don't need to I don't need to control warehouses. I just need to... I don't need to control, like, a full warehouse. I just need to set it to not accepting. And then it's fine. Okay, let us... Stop emptying this warehouse. Clay and pottery do not go in there. This is set to... Getting again. Okay. So here comes a boat. And now there is nowhere that accepts wine. Right? Nowhere that accepts wine. So we should just be able to import the oil we need. Right? Okay. Okay. That should work. That should work. Why? 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 Am I? It's not set to importing! <laughs> I thought I was even set it to importing! Why did, was it not set to importing? Did I not set it to importing? Governor Julio just asked, why are you importing oil? Am I importing oil? What? I thought I did! I thought I did! Well, you guys can use the new Zack facepalm emote. Uh, <laughs> I thought... I thought I was! Uh, okay, look. Just so you guys know, playing these special challenges is very, very difficult. Okay. A lot is on your mind at the same time. I need another warehouse here to accept... Oh, there's a ghost walker there, okay. I need another warehouse here, set to not accepting timber or vegetables, okay. Is everything else still running as appropriate? Yes. Getting pottery, okay. So where is this place getting pottery from? Down here? I guess so. I could just set this to ex... no accepting pottery because enough's coming in so this can get from there when it needs to i will get rid of that statue and open this up so there is a shortcut through here because right now the walking distance would be insane okay Right, okay. Prosperity is going up. Population's at 5,000. And I think there's still room in here, right? One, two... So there's basically room for another 500 people just in the luxury palaces. Ugh. And I think Frags just subbed with Twitch Prime. Chaos Fangs has just started gifting subs to people. Salah Joel and Heinwelters. Enjoy your sub, thanks to Chaos Fangs. Okay. Employees needed. Okay, okay. It's probably because we've been building all these farms. Okay, we're grabbing pottery from there now, I think. It should be fine. What's the pottery supply like here? Yeah, it should be okay. We're just short on food, but... Can I get a fruit farm here? Only there. Oh, I could move the actor colony to here and just put another fruit farm here to try and maintain the supply. I think they're mostly doing okay. Okay, whatever. We, we have a decent stock of oil still. Next time... Oh, some oil came in. Only three! <laughs> Guys, we are so unlucky. Three units of oil? Oh no, wait, we got four! Yes! Yes, yes, we, we got some, we got some, which means... You can get from four, right? 
We got five units. Yes, yes. Okay. We're not so unlucky. Sora, a lord, enjoy the gift sub from Chaos Fangs. Chaos Fangs, thank you so much. That is so generous of you. Check my prosperity every year just to see you don't hit a cap. Yeah, I gotta just keep checking and seeing that it says that your prosperity rating is rising. By the way, this is being held back, I think, because we have no temples. So if I need temples to win, I will only build it right at the end when we do a culture dump to boost everything up. Okay. Which one? The furniture. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Timber's gonna stock up here. I'll have another warehouse here. No furniture, no pottery, no meat. No oil, no wine. No clay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are they going to start doing weird things here? No, no, no. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. So every year I just check prosperity, make sure it's rising until we hit our prosperity cap. And if it's 50, it should be fine. Okay. That's not so good. But there's food in there. Okay. I think I should rebuild these farms. Actually, no. Food's fine. Food's fine. I think we're pretty immune to, uh... Series curses now. Oh, we are running out of food on the far side there. Do I need, like, another market? Maybe I need, like, a third market. Shift this forum over. Put down another market. So we have a better stock of food, farm, fruits. Okay. Okay. We've got plenty of money, so that's good. Farm fruits. Okay. Get all those working again. We've got some oil. Fantastic. Just in time. Employees needed. That's fine. Okay. So we're struggling a little bit on food right here. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see some people are still moving in. I think this is for the luxury palaces. Yes? Yes? Okay. It just takes so long for those houses to move in. Mars curse, okay, not a problem. There goes another fort of javelins, no worries. Wine supply is still fine, okay. Did this far market actually stock up on everything? It's got some wine. It struggles with furniture and oil and stuff like that, okay. Okay, food's coming back in. We have a third market to try and keep everything going. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're not producing enough food. Which one? Timber, okay, perfect. I can just put down another one here. No furniture, pottery, clay, oil, wine, or meat. Okay. So, furniture is... ...pretty much dumping in here. Okay, importing more. Oh, <laughs> we've reached 5,000 people! Oh. Okay, okay. 5,000 people. So just a thousand off. Just a thousand off. It is December now. Uh, so, see how high our prosperity goes. Favor's not quite enough yet either. 
Is this accepting... Oh, yeah, you can stop accepting pottery and clay. Are we overproducing pottery down here? Oh, is it because we're no longer getting pottery from up here? Okay, it's okay, we got some oil in. So now, I can set this to accepting wine. So the next time the boats come, we'll buy some wine. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's a new year. Prosperity 42. Okay, okay. We might actually be able to hit our prosperity target like this. All the markets have food, but it's just distributing really quick. I think we are producing enough food. The series just sets us back once in a while. Okay, okay. Like, look at that. Food dumps in pretty quick. Oh, that filled up. Okay, okay. Uh, I wanted to build this here. So this is just accepting the vegetables again. I will rebuild the farms to keep things going. Farm fruits. Because I think it's just about stabilizing. Okay. Okay, okay. So we need a thousand people. And I'm not sure if we can afford to build tents. Well, we pretty much need 500 people. Employees need it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rebuild these, right? I'm gonna rebuild these. So we go up to 5,600. Because we're at 5-1 right now. If I do this, go up to 5,600. And I am just gonna plaza up this whole road to make sure they at least evolve to the second level. Invasion. I did rebuild everything, right? Yeah, no more. If I just wrap this round, wrap a road round. Should be fine, right? Yeah, we could have those as functioning towers. Okay, so I go up to 5,600 people. Chaos Fangs just gifted Lucky Rajin a sub as well. Jeez, Chaos Fangs. Malkuth dropping 175 bits as well. Thank you so much, Malkuth. So I go up to 5,600 and the existing housing should be able to hold 6,000 people. Right? It should be able to hold 6,000 people. Then we just need to hit the culture mark and then we'll be fine. Okay, these are all stocking up on quite a supply of food, okay. Okay, those houses did refeed, which means we should be okay. I can't fit another house right there. Might as well, right? Okay, we have 16,000 denarii, so money's not a problem anymore, thanks to taxes. That burnt down, okay, that's fine. These need to stop doing things. Okay. Why is furniture going into here? That's set to not accepting. So wine supply has dropped, so we need to import wine again. Oil supply is okay for now. Pottery is doing okay. Furniture is doing okay. All right. Okay, so let's go one more year. I'm gonna save the game. Speed through. Uh-huh. Not a problem there. Oh. Okay. Food has stabilized there, but not here. So 
so I will rebuild these farms. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Because for some reason we always have enough meat. Oh, I could fit another farm there. I just shift the houses to here. Break that open. And I can fit a fourth pig farm right there. 40 vegetables. Okay. We're gonna try stock up on vegetables and make sure we have uh, places holding on to vegetables. so we can't have it all burnt down. Getting vegetables. Getting vegetables. Don't accept furniture or timber. This is set to accepting vegetables. Not furniture or timber. Okay. We'll try get enough vegetables in. Okay, there are two houses, warehouses down here with vegetables, yeah, but they can only get eight, so they're pretty much full. Okay, we are at 5,500 people. I wanted to go up a bit more than that. Because our prosperity rating is still rising, so let's go up a bit more. to make sure these do evolve. Bam. Because some of these didn't evolve. There we go. That does help, I think. People are very pleased with you. Let's go up one tax percent. Okay, try to maximize our profits here. Food is struggling a little bit because of the curses. Okay. But I think we should be able to hit our prosperity target. Okay, did we get... Oh, we did get wine down. Okay. So there we go. We got wine and oil coming in. Okay, the series curse is over. Vegetables should start stockpiling here in these warehouses. We need how many? 40. 46 months to comply, though. Okay. Oh. Oh. Temporarily switch fruit farms over to vegetable farms. Turn off the granary and set it to warehouse to stockpile vegetables. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. We've got a lot of time for that. So we're at 5,600 people. So with the existing houses, we should be able to hit our target. And I'm going to plaza this up. I'm going to plaza this up. Just to make sure we do at least maximize these houses. Right, okay. Just gardens on the back. So at least they're not absolute lowest level garbage tier houses. <laughs> right? At least. Is that still not desirable enough? There we go. Desirability is really bad here. Oh, screw that house. Okay, all of these did evolve to level 2 as well. Okay, that's gonna bring in a lot more people actually, surprisingly. It's December now, so we'll see if we can get 8 points of prosperity or if it will stagnate here. Let's just get to the next month. That's unfortunate. 50, yes. Yes, 
Mr. Porku just got a gift sub as well. Um, so we have enough prosperity. We just need to bring in the people. Uh, why does it have to be a series curse again? Series curse currently is the most annoying. Because I have to rebuild my farms since food is not doing too well right now. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's just do this. Okay. Pigs. Oh, that, right. Uh, vegetables. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, redoing all of that. I do want to plaza that as well, just because... Resources should be doing okay. Food is the only concern, so... It's all 600 plus, okay. These markets still struggling for food. It's because of the constant series curses. But okay, we have... Start paying yourself a salary again? Don't worry. It's got my savings from previous missions where I've forgotten to turn off that. But that 40 vegetables should get us pretty close. How's employment? 6% unemployment, which means we can start a culture dump. I guess we just use up here, right? Okay, we are gonna hit 6,000 people. Okay. With all these people moving in, we gotta do a culture dump. Okay, Governor Julio, you're in chat. What is the most efficient way? What is the most efficient way to get to, uh, well, to raise culture? Now, I know the lack of temples might be holding it back right now, but we need 60 culture, which is pretty high. Um, what is the most efficient way to get that? Theaters, okay. How many theaters do I need? That one. Okay. No, yes. No, 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 no. No. 13 theaters, okay. I can do that. Let's just make some room over here. Now we will need an... I think we need an actor colony? Uh, maybe we don't need an actor colony. 13 theaters. So I have two already, right? I have one there and I have one here. So... Two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an extra one just in case. Okay. Let's see if this counts. I think it doesn't count. I think it doesn't count. Let me check. 14 theaters entertain 7,000. So actually, how much does each theater entertain? 6,500. Okay, Governor Julio, your math is perfect. Okay, so we have perfect on theater. So, Governor Julio, what's the next thing I should do? Governor Julio, in case you guys don't know, in chat, Governor Julio knows the most about this game. Alright, I didn't rebuild these. I gotta get these going. Eight libraries. Okay. How's our employment? 4% still. Okay. So, eight libraries. One. Two. Three. Four. I need to make sure libraries do not go there. 
I got five down here. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And we need more workers. More people are moving in, though. 23 employees. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's get those running. So they should all be functioning. Okay. Shot by 75 employees. This is going to be a bit problematic. Uh, libraries, eight libraries, 6,400. Okay, so with that, uh, I can start cutting back on some production here. Right? Yes. Okay. Money's not so much of a problem, so I'm just gonna stop selling meat. That's 30 employees, which is pretty big. Uh, I can obviously cut back on furniture production here. I need the rest of this. But that solves employment problems. Okay. Culture's 45. Oh, okay. Okay. It says too few places of worship, but it's okay. It's okay. Let me just save right here before something collapses. How did vegetables get in the timber warehouse? Look. It's actually getting vegetables. Because... Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> okay, Governor Julio, what's the next one? Culture levels checked at the beginning of each month. I see, I see. Okay, we're at no employment problems. What? What's the next thing? We need another 15 culture. Need another 15 culture. Okay, let's deal with this. Let's do schools. Okay, Governor Julio, how many schools? Here. Wait, invasions can come from here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. No one told me. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, the... Oh. They just... They're just gonna gather there, is it? Okay. I... Oh, I might have to reload. I don't know if I can deal with this. No, don't run straight into them. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. I just saved, right? Okay. Okay, I thought we were beyond this, but let's do it. Build a wall maze. Unfortunately, in this game, they just run through walls. Okay. Why not just focus on the culture? You know, I could probably win. Governor Julio, how many schools did I need? I, sh I should be able to do the math, actually. Three schools is 225 children. How many children do we have? Not that many, I think.
Okay. Let's just... Okay. I did not know that this was a thing. Very good. Oh, uh, they're ignoring my troops. Okay. I need more walls. I need more walls. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All of my settings here have reset. It's linked to something. I'm not sure what. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, um, school's perfect. Oh, hey! We've actually won this mission. <laughs> ah, would you look at that? So, if I wanted it to do it for legit, I will send this request of vegetables. So let us just... 39, really? 40. Dispatch goods. Let's just, let's try and get this as high as possible without gifting Caesar anything. Yeah? Right? Okay. Let's just wait for the thank you. Where's the thank you? Oh, it was enough! It was enough! Didn't even need to gift Caesar. Guys. This has been the heretic monotheistic city. Against the gods. And look at me. I am the deity now. Screw you, Ceres, screw you, Neptune, Mercury, Mars. Beat you all. Venus is the scary one. Venus is the scary one. But guys, that has been the conclusion. And let us watch the final cinematic. Accept deity status.
Congratulations. You have achieved the highest goals ever set to one of Rome's governors. I am proud to hand over to you. I decree that you be crowned Caesar, Emperor of all Rome. The whole empire is yours. At last, I can retire to my island villa, a private citizen once again. May your name forever join the pantheon of Rome's greatest rulers. Hail Caesar! Ah, uh, and there we go, victory! You overcome, overcame every obstacle and adversary in every assignment. Even when I myself bet against you, none can deny your right to rule. I've asked the Senate to proclaim you a god. Isn't it amazing that we ended on a heretic city and now we are the god? Ah, uh, but right click to exit and here we are back on the main menu. Guys, we've completed it. We've completed the whole campaign of Caesar 3 with no repeating block designs and special challenges every single time with the bonus of getting max level housing on every mission. I didn't set that as a starting goal, but we did it anyway. And that is that. And overall, this has been a challenge for all those people out there who say, oh, you know, you're not min-maxing enough. You could be more efficient if you move the farm tiles three tiles over to the right. Well, look at that. I just beat the game on very hard with extra, extra challenges, building whatever block design I wanted. Who needs efficiency? <laughs> Actually, you really need efficiency. And I really recommend you don't do a Frostmon block. That was probably the worst one ever. Anyway, that is going to be the end of the Caesar 3 campaign playthrough. There are only custom maps left because we have played through the campaign twice now. Doing efficient block designs and silly block designs and challenges. And I think the Heretic City was an appropriate end. Alright, so that's going to be it for now. If you'd like to check out more stuff on the channel, we've got two Caesar 3 playthroughs, a Pharaoh playthrough, Emperor playthrough, a little bit of Zeus, all sorts of city building, nostalgiasms, abandoned world adventures, so, so much stuff. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!